So peace to the gods and the goddesses. Um, I wanted to do a really, really quick video. And sometimes things just come to me and I get downloads. Um, but my thing was, what is loyalty and what is love? Do they go together? Are they opposite? Are we loyal because we love? Do we love because we're loyal? I'm asking this question because I don't have the answer. Um, but it was just a quick download that I was receiving. Um, a lot of things that we feel are based on what our mind perceives or what our mind tells us. Um, so sometimes you're loyal or sometimes you love and you don't understand why. You just do. This spiritual journey brings a lot of confusion because the person you've known your whole life is no longer who you want to be friends with. It's like growing up with somebody from elementary school and you just, I see them every day, but I don't know who they are. That's how this spiritual journey feels. Um, and it can be very confusing. It can be very stressful. Um, when you wake up in the morning and you look at yourself in the mirror that is an illusion. You are not who you see. That is just a vessel or your vehicle. Um, we are much more than what we see in the mirror. Love and loyalty and hurt and pain sometimes makes no sense. Does it supposed to make sense? Is it an illusion? These are things that maybe we can't figure out. We can just base a lot of our opinion on trying to figure out what it is what I do know is that people will judge you when you're on this journey when you're trying to be your higher self sometimes people will fuck with you so hard to bring out that other person I shine stop my damn dog stop when that other person comes out then they'll laugh and they'll say, see, I knew it was still there. Of course it's still there. That's what I'm trying to get away from. That's who I'm trying to run from. So people can take you out of your humbleness and laugh at you when you trip and fall. Not knowing that it was so hard for you to walk with these shoes on. It's hard to walk in these shoes of being your higher self. And as soon as you fall, people laugh instead of being there to pick you up. Don't fuck with that with somebody trying to bring that demon out of you. With someone trying to, um, you know, provoke something that you're trying to not be. And that's not, no, that is not an excuse either. You understand? That's not an excuse because we should be able to have more control over our feelings and emotions. Like I said, is it even real? Does it exist? Do we just have these feelings and emotions because we're in this vehicle? You understand? So, excuses only sound good to the person that's making it. So, I can say all day, yo, I'm like this and I'm like that. But that's just an excuse. You should be working on this and that. Don't tell me why you're like that. You need to work on yourself. Loyalty versus love. A lot of things don't make sense to me. And I changed my page to spiritual goddess. Um... Because my journey needs to be more exposed. My anxiety, my pain, being a mother, being a wife, being a daughter, being a sister needs to be exposed. I'm tired of hiding in the closet. Like, I, I, I'm a warrior. Like, I can take a lot of pain mentally and physically. So why would you hide? Who you think is telling you to hide? That lower self. The devil. It knows your potential and it wants you to stay right where you're at. I have to make decisions every day based on do I want to be my higher self or my lower self. Just like some people make decisions out of loyalty or love. A man to say I love my wife but you didn't cheat it on her the whole time. But he loves her. That's confusing to me. That's why I said all this shit is confusing to me. But I do know one thing. I'm trying to be my higher self. I'm not trying. I am. I'm manifesting more to be my higher self. And this is the thing too. And I don't want my video to be too long. 
Jesus was a prophet. We had a lot of prophets, ascended masters that came here. I shine, stop. <laughs> Keep digging. I shouldn't have put them in the cage. They didn't walk around the way I am right now. They didn't walk around. They didn't walk around like this. They didn't do that. Sometimes they had to take that shit off and be another person. Jesus had killers and murderers and rapists walking with him. Prostitutes. So don't ever get it fucked up because I wear this dot on my head that I'm still not going to engage in that other person. I can use my lower self. But what people will do on this spiritual journey, don't claim to be spiritual or, or conscious. Because as soon as you do something, see, see, I knew you wasn't conscious. I knew you wasn't woke. I knew you wasn't this. That finger should be cut. And I'm going to tell you right now, I'm done. The little fingers that I do point, which we all do naturally, I'm done doing it. I've had an exhausting day. I've had an exhausting night. And I still got my ass up. And I did exactly what I was supposed to do. Because of that, I got a couple orders. Within the time I posted my products, I went to the mailbox, come home, do, do, you know what I mean? Wearing several hats. My son's computer came. I'm downstairs sweating, brain, whatever, trying to put this computer desk together. But you know what? All I'm doing is something's telling me you're tired. I isn't this stressful? Uh, you should have more help. But the other side is like, are you crazy? You were built to endure pain. You were built to endure whatever comes your way. So when, when, see this shit that's going on with this virus, shit gonna get worse for it get better. So you are here to lead other people. I know that for a fact. And it's gonna cause trouble in relationships. You can't have a woman be strong because it's gonna make a man feel less than a man. And I don't know why a lot of men feel that, especially our black men. I'm a strong woman and I know my job is to lead. That's why I never follow nobody, even as a kid. I can't. So since I can't follow anybody, that lets me know you are a leader. So you got to lead. Balance your emotions. That love that's in you, you got to balance it with a little devil sometime. Like just throw a little squirt, like a little pinch of hot sauce. That's the devil. Because you can't walk around holy all the time. That's not balance. It sounds good, but that's not balance. Don't tell me you're faithful all the time. Yeah, you might not be fucking, but I bet that I looked across the street you gotta have a little it don't sound good like oh my god but don't expect a man to not cheat not look not do like that's stop being sensitive i can look and say oh shit he he's attractive he's handsome and go about my business i don't want to do nothing else you gotta learn how to balance shit and stop feeling like we have to live up to certain expectations we have been ripped of who we are and the more we hate each other, the more they're going to have power and control us. So my thing is, I want to share more of my spiritual journey, um, the foods I try to eat. My mom suffers with COPD, and ever since she's been taking the CMOS since last year, she hasn't had no cold, sniffle, nothing. Um, along with that, she changed her diet as far as um, eating better. She eats less meat, soda, etc. She does smoothies. So I know from seeing just that testimony how changing your diet and adding things that they're trying to hide from you to your diet can make you well and make you feel better. That's what I'm trying to bring to you. I'm not trying to force you to do anything. I'm not trying to force you to convert. I'm just trying to share. And the ones that are meant to come with me, they're going to come. I'm not trying to force anybody. I don't care who you are. I want to share my diet. I want to share when I exercise. Because sometimes I don't know what I'm doing in there, but I'm running on a treadmill. I want to share my anxiety. I have anxiety where I feel like I'm dying at night. And you might see me, oh my God, look. Oh, look at her. She looks just, she's, she's so whatever. Nah, fuck that. I want to start sharing. I've been with my husband almost 11 years. And because of our issues, he's not in the house right now. I want to share that to you. I'm not going to put up no personal videos, but I'm going to share the pain or the outcome. Because shit is real. It's not fake. Nothing is fake with that person that you see when you look in the mirror. That is fake. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, these lips and freckles and these locks. That's cute, right? That don't, that don't exist. 
the more I realize that, the more powerful I know I'm becoming and the, the more powerful I am. You understand what I'm saying? So my spiritual journey is just to show and share with you guys and just start posting because I feel like for me to be awake and to not share is very unfair. For me to be awake and not share with other men and women, especially of color, I feel like I'm being very selfish. I can share with whoever gender. I hate that where you can't deal with another male because you got a husband. You can't deal with a female because you got a wife. Get up that insecurity shit. Once you feel comfortable with yourself, you're not going to let no other person make you feel uncomfortable. I know who the fuck I am. And if a person want to go that way, you should thank the universe. Stop crying. Stop trying to hold on to shit that's not meant for you. Until I became secure with myself, I wasn't secure with no other women around me or my husband or whoever I was dating. I know who I am. So I said that to say this at the end of the day. I want to share my journey. I want to share my struggle. And at the same time, hopefully the people that do rock with me um, on my YouTube. My YouTube is Spiritual Goddess. My Facebook group. And my um, Instagram is Art of an Empath. That's where I sell my products. That's where I do readings for people, spiritual guidance. And that's another thing I'm not going to touch on because I don't like talking that much. And I've been talking for like 12 minutes. I want to play some games with my girls. Um, but I do provide those things. That's going to be another video talking about my experiences as a child with spirits coming around me. Um, and I still feel things now. I was My room was very crowded last night. Because the universe and the ancestors knew I was in pain. And the only thing I kept saying is, please let me go to sleep. Please let me get some sleep. And I, I just, I felt the comfort. I, I didn't get the best sleep, but I definitely felt the comfort. So the shit that I go through is real. I might not be the best person. I'm not the best spokesperson. I don't always say things the right way. Sometimes I can be selfish and all these things, etc. I don't mind making a video and giving you a list of shit that's wrong with me. No. So at the end of the day, meditation and hydration is important. Being at peace with yourself for a couple seconds, drinking your water, mentally being okay, mentally checking in with yourself, physically getting some exercise, and spiritually. Save your space, save yourself. And, and, and the thing about it, since I'm opening this door, is so much more that I want to give you guys. And that's why I said my spiritual is so important, man. I've experienced things in my life and I've had different situations. I don't even, like, it, it bugs me out to even be here at 37. I'll be 38 in February. You understand? But now that the door is being cracked, I know I can't close it. I know it's meant to be open. And I really am to the point where I don't give a fuck anymore. I don't. I don't. I'm tired of trying to look in the camera and see is my hair looking okay or which angle because my nose might look like this or let me get my eyes like this. Let me not show the, the sleepiness. Let me not try to smile because you might, man, let me tell you something. You gonna love me. You gonna love me. Because I'm going to show you how much I can love myself. And I'm going to show you that whatever flaw you might think is a flaw. Or whatever somebody might put me through. Or whatever might come my way. I'm always going to love myself. And you're going to love me for that. Because you're going to start loving yourself more. And that's the realest shit. To wake up in the morning and smile and love yourself is the hardest shit. If I wake up in the morning and I do a drug. Or I call up somebody to make me feel good. Hell yeah, you're going to feel good. But when that drug and that person go away, you ain't got shit. And I'm not going to be here on this planet without shit. So I got to wake up in the morning and love myself and make myself feel good. I got to make myself laugh. I got to talk to myself. Do you know that they started diagnosing people with uh, schizophrenic? I know I'm saying it wrong. I don't care because they were talking to themselves. But then they had to change uh, some of the, the, uh, the characteristics. Because they realized so many people talk to themselves. So they had to flip shit around. That's another thing to talk about mental health. That's another thing. That's what I'm saying. I got so much to share with you guys. And it's very stingy. And I apologize for not sharing. Because this is not for a certain person. And it's not for views. This is for the universe letting me know to put this shit out. So people can feel it and gravitate towards it. Because I know it's people that need it. I know it's people that need it. 
to be humble and to accept who you are is the hardest but most beautiful thing. Giving birth is the worst pain they said a woman or person can experience. And they said as soon as that woman has that baby, she forgets. I just spit it. I didn't see that. She forgets what that pain feels like. And she has another one. Doesn't make sense, but it does make sense. Do you understand? The worst pain you can experience is something so divine makes you forget what it feels like. So you can bear another child. So don't you ever disrespect a woman, especially a black woman of color. I don't care what drop of color. If she's got a little drop of something, she's a woman of color. Don't disrespect her because you don't like how your mom was. Don't disrespect her because how crazy your sister was. And especially if you got children with her, you ain't got to like her. But don't disrespect her because this is what it is. You can move on and find somebody else. But the universe, I'm telling you from the bottom of my soul, the universe is going to do you dirty. You can't disrespect life. Women are life. Mother nature is life. You can't disrespect life because you are disrespecting yourself. Hmm. A lot of downloads are coming in, so I'm going to end the video. And my thing that I've been saying a little bit, and um, I, I'm Aquarius, so I'm very, I'm always um, intervating and, and, and making myself new like a chameleon. So my thing that I've been stuck on a little bit is um, meditation and hydration. It sounds cool, but they really do work hand in hand together. Um, Art of an Empath on Instagram and Facebook. Because I'm going to post this everywhere. That's why I'm putting those out there. And for my YouTube, it's Spiritual Goddess. I love you to the gods and goddesses. Praise to Allah. I am not Muslim, but I like how that feels when I say it. Praise the Allah, the Most High, whatever you would like to call him. But there's a higher self, and you're probably talking to your higher self when you say God. That's another video. I love you. Send me good energy. Send me all that good energy. Send me all that good energy. Build together. I want to build my tribe. I don't care where you're from. Let's just build. Let's just build. I'm tired. Let's unzip these body suits and let's show who we really are. And it might get ugly. You might see me cry. You might see me looking funky and all that, whatever I might look like. But I'm 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 gonna unzip it because I want to be free. I got to be free. This body is like all these things. You're supposed to do this and you're supposed to do that. As a wife, you're supposed to I want I'm 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 ready to be free. I'm ready in the bottom of my soul. I'm ready to be free. So if you're ready to be free, then please subscribe, share and join me um and we can build. I don't care what color you are, what gender you are. Um we'll just build together. <laughs>